Hey guys, I'm Mike Gardner, and today I'm going to be starting off the new series called Harvest to Plate. Now, Harvest to Plate is just a how-to series that teaches you guys how to make food from the stuff you harvest from your garden. And I think it's really key to learn this kind of stuff because a lot of times people harvest stuff and they kind of just let it set there or they say, I have no clue how to use this stuff in a meal. And so today I'm going to start out with something very, very simple. It's not really a meal. It's more or less an hors d'oeuvre, but nonetheless, it's very tasty. It's very delicious. And these are going to be foods that are for healthy living, people that are health conscious, um, vegan, vegetarian. Sometimes there will be uh, non-vegan or non-vegetarian options added in. Um, like today there's going to be an option that you can either add it or not. And I will always add that because I realize I have a lot of people viewing that are um, from different backgrounds and that have different, um, different diets. So I want to be able to really kind of reach everyone out there and not just one specific group. So um, today we're actually going to be making a kale bruschetta. It's very tasty. I've already made it once and it tastes fantastic. It's got a really sweet taste combined with kind of a salty and um, kind of like a, a smoky overtone. And it's a really good twist on the original bruschetta, except for the fact that this can be completely made from your garden. No problems at all. I have uh, basically some simple ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need some whole peppercorns here, some extra virgin olive oil, I have some black sea salt, this is going to have that smoky flavor, this is a gourmet sea salt, uh, you can get it at pretty much any health food store, it's a little more expensive than normal salt, normal salt will work, it's just this adds that really nice smoky overtone that you're looking for, and then also um, I have some fresh kale here, and I'll show you guys the ingredients, oh I also have some basil, basil is a must have. Um, and we're going to go through the steps. It's very, very simple. It's very quick, and you should be able to make this in literally under eight minutes, I'd say. All right, so again, I'm just going to kind of go over the ingredients because I knew you guys didn't see them up close here. These are what crushed peppercorns look like. They are very, uh, very coarse peppercorns, and that adds like a really much more robust flavor when you crack them. You're also going to need some fresh kale here, beautiful kale. We got our garlic grew fresh from the garden, basil, fresh from the garden, and then you got some olive oil here, this is just an extra virgin olive oil, and then you also have your black sea salt, and this comes from Hawaii, and um, you can also get black sea salt from other places as well, but this is my favorite, it's very uh, smoky, it's got a great earthy flavor to it. So to start out this dish, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your kale, and you're going to want to cut the center vein out. The center vein just makes it a little bit bitter and it's kind of stringy um, for this dish. So you're just going to want to cut that out. It's very simple. And uh, this can be composted or whatever you want with it. So as you can see, vein out. And so you're left with some beautiful pieces of kale there. I'm going to cut the rest of this up and then we'll get back when it comes to the next step. Alright, so you got your kale here, I'll shred it up. This is about six large pieces of kale. Put that in a bowl, set that aside. And then next we're going to prepare our, uh, our garlic here. And uh, get a nice big clove out. Like I said, I grew this myself. I'm really proud of this. It's a uh, very beautiful clove of garlic there. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take it, and I find it's best to just take the, the flat end of the knife. Do be careful about your hand when you go to pound, but um, you, what you want to do is take off this, this outer coating, and it's a pain in the butt to have to get off, but one way you can actually get it is by just taking the, the flat end of the knife here, and then just pound down, and it splits the, the clove, and then you can just peel it off just like that. You got your beautiful clove there. And just finally mince this up. Oh man, that is very so fresh, so fragrant, and uh, you're not going to get much fresher than right from the garden. And if you have to buy garlic, that works too. I just uh, was able to source everything, um, every main ingredient right from the right from the garden. So that's always good. And just finally mince this up. When you, whenever you prep an herb. You don't want to ever um, you don't want to ever cut 
the herb. It's best to shred it with your hand or your, your fingers. And I'm just using four large, four large leaves of basil um, because, um, wow, that is very fragrant, uh, because you really don't need that much. I'm just gonna take it and just, just rip it between your fingers. Um, it'll wilt down, but it'll be much more fragrant. You'll be able to smell it a lot more and it releases the oils much better. And um, granted, these would have been better had I uh, gotten them fresh from the garden. I harvested them yesterday for uh, some spaghetti, so I'm just using them up. All right, so you got about two tablespoons of oil in this pan here, not, not very much at all. And you're gonna throw in your garlic, and let the pan heat up so it's simmering. You're just gonna wanna fry that. Turn the heat down just a little bit. I'm on medium heat right now, and uh, I just want to make sure that the garlic gets nice and brown. Now while the garlic is sauteing away, I took about seven or eight um, whole peppercorns, and these are just the black and white mix. I'm just going to take the back of a spoon and just roughly crush these. And that's going to add just a really nice flavor to the, to the mix. Make sure they don't shoot away on you, but this works just fine for me. There you go, just kind of roughly crush those up. There. All right, so now we're gonna go add that to the oil and the garlic mix there. And that's gonna work out great. All right, now while that's all cooking away, just what you wanna do is just shred your, shred your, uh, your kale up here. Watch your fingers. I don't need to lose any digits here. I'm just really roughly chopping this. And then I did all that at once there, so that was nice. And then just twist it again, turn it 90 degrees. and just roughly chop it again, just so it's kind of minced or shredded, I guess. Um, just so you don't have any super large chunks, um, just so it's, it's, fairly, uh, it's fairly small pieces. All right, so the garlic's been browned, it's really nice. We're just gonna throw that in there. You got that nice, that nice sizzle. And we're gonna let this cook we're gonna let this cook and cook down for about five minutes. And I'm just gonna make sure all the oil is incorporated with all of the kale. And I should not be using a metal spoon, but I'm just kind of flipping this around here. I'll change up my utensils right now. Now you're just gonna add uh, just about a pinch of just whole sea salt. I just didn't even crush it. Just a little bit of salt there. And then just mix that in. Always use wooden or plastic tools when you're when you're cooking with nonstick pans simply because the metal really ruins the, the nonstick. I know I used a, a metal spoon so I wasn't being a very good example there but um, I didn't want the kale to be burning to the bottom of the pan so I kind of just had that quick, I didn't have all my utensils where I needed them. All right, we got about one minute left, and now we're going to add the final ingredient, which is the basil. You wanna add the herbs last because you don't wanna to totally cook down the basil. You want it to remain kind of whole and intact so that the oils will, um, will really flavor the dish very well. And now we only got about a minute left on the stove here. I'm still on medium heat, and uh, just keep stirring it. Make sure the kale never sticks to the bottom of the pan or starts smoking. Make sure the, the uh, olive oil stays, uh, stays at a proper temperature so it doesn't flame up on you or start a fire. And actually right next to me here I got a uh, I got a piece of Italian bread cooking with some just a small olive oil on top, very simple. And it's face down on the bottom of a pan getting brown and crisped. Now you can actually do 
a method of um, you can do a method of just um, cooking them in in the oven. But as you can see, they're nice golden brown. I um, I just kind of put some olive oil on it and um, I'm just crisping that up there on the on the face there. You can do the whole thing, but I like a nice crispy top with a nice soft bottom. It complements this dish really well and um, it looks really nice when it's plated up. Last but not least, I choose to do this. However, if you want to keep it vegan, vegetarian, you can uh, do so. Um, you can just eat it just like this. However, I'm going to add just a little bit of an aged Parmesan. And uh, I prefer this because it adds a nice salty texture, uh, or a nice salty flavor, as well as kind of a, a very nice, um, a very nice kind of uh, sweet, salty, nutty body to it. I don't know, it's very unique. Um, and it really complements the kale well. It makes it very more, much more Italian, in my opinion. And, um, and that's it, you know, just a, about a teaspoon or less of, of the, uh, the cheese there. And we're just gonna let that melt in, and we're gonna be ready to serve it up. And there you have it. I've just kind of top dressed with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese to make it look nice. I have side dressed with a wedge of tomato and underneath is just a sprig of basil. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. And mm. it's so good. It's so healthy. Fresh in the garden. And it tastes awesome. So hopefully you guys learned something new. And as always, this is my gardener. Talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.